All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to session six of this group's uh, Out of the Light. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get closer to my face. So is someone have the audio of this going? I can hear. Okay, there it goes. It's getting a bit echoey. Um, so this is our Dungeons Dragons 5th edition live play. We have two separate groups. Group, uh, our Monday group, and then this group, our Thursday group. A sexier group. I should, it's it's too bad that, like, I bet I can go back and rename episodes. Because maybe instead of group one, group two, I should name you guys the Kraken crew, right? That's what we've been uh, internally referring to ourselves. That ourselves. that only alludes to the fact that eventually we're going to have to fight a kraken. Uh, so I'm gonna change you to the Kraken crew, uh, and then the other group Bring it on. is gonna be Bring the Tarask crew. For no we lucked out. Reason. We lucked <laughs> out. I'd <laughs> much rather face a kraken. <laughs> All right. So, so someone is definitely streaming this, and I can hear the audio. It's probably Very... Bink. It's probably Bink, say... right? Yeah, I bet he... That's right. He's... So Bink had to... What did he tell us specifically to say? That he had to poop? It worked. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Something worked that I was trying to get to work for a while. You're trying to get me to you say know. that Bink had to go take a poop? No, mm -hmm. no. Some automated alert thing that tells things when we're live. It oh. worked. Oh yeah, um, just popped up. That, that should always go off. When if if you follow our page, uh, you should get alerts whenever we go live. Uh, right now, just twice a week. Uh, although uh, we hope to be doing more special event things. This is kind of our ongoing. Uh, and check out the new layout. So now uh, we have a new layout. We have what? Why did it? Oh, that was a chat thing. I can leave that up so it doesn't block the screen again. But then everything moved. Let's try to fix that as everything dances around the screen. <laughs> I just uh, popped up on Twitch, so I saw what you were referring to. Oh, no. Oh, OK. Let me. Yeah, OK, there we go. Well, thank you for that. Uh, so that's much better. OK, cool. Um, any announcements? Uh, so. We do have a special uh, streaming event that's going to happen at some point. I'm not running it, so I actually don't know when. I don't know what it is. Uh, all I really know is that we got uh, a code that we were, well, a, a, some, a cipher we were supposed to decode to help us figure out what it is. And I haven't heard from Joe, so I bet he doesn't know what it is yet. I've been trying. I'm stumped. I've been trying all week. I have no idea what our code master has done. Yeah, it's just not, that's not my strength. Uh, solving puzzles, which is why I just like to give you guys puzzles. Uh, but yeah, that is forthcoming. We'll be, uh, as, as soon as I get information about it, I will be sharing that on our Facebook, on our Twitter, if you follow us there. Uh, Instagram, you know, I, I really try to get as much info as we have out so people know what's going on. Uh, and oh yes, oh yes, chat is reminding me. Uh, I actually thought I solved one because I came up with a badass answer, but I was told it was incorrect. Oh, okay. Uh, so our, our resident puzzle uh, decipher is still working. Almighty 326. Um, uh, if you subscribe or, uh, you know, you can use channel points or whatever you do on the Twitch to unlock our sneaky T emote. Uh, and you can see it in chat right there. Some people are sharing it. Um, okay, yes. Um, so uh, sneaky T, who is Bink in this game and currently, uh, you know, indisposed, oh, but but ideally coming back soon. Uh, sometimes he tries to uh, pull one over. So if you notice him or any of these other players trying to pull one over, or if I'm trying to maybe get something on them, uh, that's where you throw out a sneaky T. All right. So I think that's it, right? Uh, 
so Bink should be joining us at any second. Uh, but while we're waiting, uh, who wants to recap from last week? I think that that's unofficially my job. So um, we were moving our way through the Earth elemental plane and Wade saw something that he thought might be treasure. So we decided to go into the pit and in the pit, a voice started speaking to us. Um, its name was Dar something. Um, and, and it made a deal with us that we could have the artifact, which we would need to move across the desert if we could find him. So Wave and Dave used their magical powers to find Dar. And then Dar backed out on his promise because he's an asshole and decided that because we found him too quickly, we couldn't have the artifact. Um, we fought some earth elementals. It went really badly. And then we ended up getting out of the pit. Uh, we walked around for a little bit. We had a short rest. We had a long rest. Um, we went back into the pit and found a sword that was stuck in a stone. Um, he pulled on it and the hilt came off and there was a golden key with a green gem inside. Um, and that's what I have. The, the key can be used to lock things. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that's all we know. People. It can be yeah. used to lock things, and we haven't really had a chance to figure out what that means yet. Lock your mouth shut. I want to use it on Dar and lock his ass shut, and then force feed him till he explodes. That's what I want to do. <laughs> uh, and in the wonderful game of Dungeons and Dragons, the you know it's yours to uh, to deal with. All right, um, that's where we are and i think we left off with you guys just uh trekking away from the pit where you met dar the earth elemental and uh in the direction of uh the desert that you saw as uh, you were falling into this plane of existence mm. all right who's leading the way <clears throat> Oh, it's probably a navigator. He's uh, I think he's sick. I'll give him a, br I'll give him a break. <laughs> I mean, I can I can tank point if you want, Cap. I, I got pretty good eyesight. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Go. All right. So um. Wait, where are we going? Towards, towards the desert. Maybe we can use this thing to cross it now. I don't. I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Assuming we can you trust know, anything that damn elemental said, he said we wouldn't be able to cross <clears throat> the desert without whatever artifact he was guarding. We're assuming right, right. this is the same one. It might not be. This might be a coincidence. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I like it. Okay, All so right, I um, will approach the desert and kind of look around to see if I see anything that resembles at any point in time a path that might be traveled across, <laughs> any kind of oases, footprints, yeah, anything so... that shows anyone has traveled around here. All right, so and you avoid the, the, the elemental things. That's stupid. And uh, so Wave is leading the way as you guys are heading in that direction? see okay wave give me a perception check i'm not going to do a survival you've kind of already traveled back and forth a little bit in this area you kind of know the way generally uh you know where you're going i just want a perception that is a nine lovely um so as you're going yeah you don't see too much uh other than kind of what you've already been seeing uh it is it's not so much a monotonous landscape as it is uh, just constant changing in elevation, uh, very tall hills you're constantly going over. It's rather difficult going, and you're all probably breathing heavy. It's also rather warm, and uh, you're finding it's getting even warmer as you're walking forward um, uh, until uh, eventually 
you know, you start getting uh, closer. And as you get closer, um, whenever you're on the top of a ridge or a hill, they're getting a lot less steep, but also from the tops of them, you can see out to what appears to be a very expansive uh, desert, just sand desert, um, some very soft dunes in the distance, but otherwise a uh, rather flat, harsh looking kind of terrain. So I'd relay all of that to the captain. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So, so what do you think it is that, that that's uh, going to make it difficult to cross? Besides, you know, it's it's so hot. I I would assume there's got to be some kind of natural predator that lives out here that might be trying to eat us at some point in time. Okay. Or we, we just you know. Die of dehydration. Well, can can <clears throat> can we not just create water? One of you is yeah. very good at that, right? Yeah, we we'll, cer- we certainly can. I it will be fine. I have put together the best team. You know, I cover our weakness. That's why I brought you all together. Here today. Water, but I can make it safe to drink if we have some. Oh, I I can make up to ten gallons a day. Wow, you're great. We could bathe. We could have a water balloon fight. See, we have plenty of water. I don't want to have a water balloon fight very much. <laughs> it's good motivation. Team building exercise. But all right. Uh, <clears throat> well, um, we could try crossing. Yeah, we could start to go across and see what happens. Okay. I don't know if we have any other real choice at this point. Yeah. No. Who has key? Okay. Good. You're in the lead, and you should be because you have the key. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and eventually, uh, you know, the rock and stone and dirt that you're walking on starts to slowly give way uh, to sand, and you find yourself on uh, what appeared to be a gradual change. Uh, in terrain, but kind of like looking left, looking right, um, you seem to be at a very specific divide uh, between these two different landscapes. It, it reminds you a bit of um, that original pit that you found right after you had gone through the gate uh, into this kind of crazy adventure you find yourself in. Uh, Cap, permission to, to try something here. Sure, sure. Go, go, go. I kind of want to take out the key and get to the point where I I see like a clear break between rock and desert. You said if like there's that kind of line and stick the key there and turn it and see if something happens. Say that again. I, I, so if, if, if I notice, yeah. if I notice there's like a specific break between like the rocky stuff that we've been walking on and like where yeah. the desert okay. Okay. starts almost like, like if I had imagined there was a door that would go into the desert to see if I can. So you're sticking something. it in the sand or into like the air. In yeah. Front of like, you. like right, right in the ground, like right where okay. it, the sand starts. Uh, yeah. You, you take this key and it's pretty, it's pretty long, right? And it's easy to get it kind of a grip on and you go ahead uh, and you stick it right into the ground and you turn it. Um, there's nothing discernible that happens as far as you can tell. Okay. Well, we'll keep using it until we can figure out what it does. We'll keep trying some stuff uh, onward into the desert. It was, it was worth the shot. I think I think <clears throat> our time to use it will just uh, present itself. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. What is happening? Look up. Yeah, I know. Uh, Someone left because because we lost. It's because we lost Bink. Yeah. Yep. He he logged off. His compute. His computer blue screened, which mm-hmm. is not good at all. <laughs> all right. Let's. Let's move to 
the four screen version it's still not really set up guys huh we could just have it look funny for temporarily <laughs> yeah this looks a little less funny it's a little less easier to see everybody so we'll go ahead and keep it like that until bink is able to come yeah. back on sorry about that happy fun viewers uh all right and then we'll fix it as soon as uh i'm gonna keep an eye on zoom too so i can let bink back on the chat whenever he comes in uh okay uh so you start oh oh that was quick bink you're like a speed demon there we go yeah, I think it's... Sorry about that, guys. Pretty good. Okay, no problem, man. Things happen. If that is... Uh, I swear, knock on wood, if that is the worst technical glitch we have this session, we're doing okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys start walking across the sand. Uh, and as you do, you can feel your feet uh, you know, starting to sink into it a bit. Um, it's shifting quite a bit under your feet. Uh and you know you're you're used to sandy beaches definitely but this is uh it's it's different the the sand is not packed almost as if at least the top layer um is uh is like freshly blown in from somewhere uh the air is fairly still but here now that you're in the desert area you do not have that um thick covering of clouds that you did where you came from and the sun is beating down uh and you're already feeling uh pretty warm in it particularly i want to say hondo you have heavy armor yes mm -hmm. yeah so you're you're it's a nice you're, uh chain mail yeah you're feeling it You know, it's getting uh, really hot. Do we do we need to take a rest, Cap? No, no, no. I'm just making it known that I'm really hot. But we keep going. I will not be called the slowest member of this party when Pink can hardly breathe under normal circumstances. <laughs> Is there any any trees or shrubs or any kind of cover that might be like copses of rocks or something that we could use for shade at some point in time sure so as you continue to walk why don't you give me another perception check uh now that you're in this area wave that is a 13 getting better a 13 yeah so um as you're going uh looking around keeping an eye out for anything um, you rather quickly leave behind those uh, rocky formations behind you. Uh, and as you're going, you're looking, and it is flat sand, pretty much as far as you can see. In fact, as you walk on, you notice that even those uh, distant dunes out of the way uh, that you were walking towards when you first... Um, made your way out don't seem to be there in the distance any longer as if they've disappeared from the horizon um and what you're looking at now is about the flattest landscape as if um, you see the same horizon in any direction you turn in okay it's only slightly alarming um so i cap I, i'm not sure if we're transitioning from one area to another but the sand dunes that were here before aren't here anymore and it's just flat forever wait are we like stuck here now well try the key okay i will uh, like in the ground in the air and you just like trying to turn it as you go in all um, the places yep just kind of keep trying in the ground in the air above me yeah, as you guys are stopped for a second as, like, Wave is sitting there trying this key on all these different things, uh, can everyone roll a, uh, let's say, deck save for me really quick? Sixteen. Okay. Nineteen. Five. 
Bink, are you up? <laughs> Bink's representative is speaking for him. Okay. <laughs> Maggie rolled a 12. Um, at that point, Hondo, as you're standing there and you're just like looking at him and looking off on the horizon and like wiping sweat off your head, um, you start to sink. And it doesn't happen slowly. It's as if the ground is pulled out from under you and you are your waist deep in the sand. And Am I getting shorter sinking. or are you guys getting taller? Uh oh. Oh shit. Um I would grab the rope out of my explorer pack and just throw it to him. Okay. Yeah, Hondo grabs onto the rope and you hold on to it. Um, at that point, Jade, you feel yourself start sinking. You st do it a lot slower, uh, but you like fall up to your knees and still continue to fall in further into the sand. I had a 16. Yep. Okay. Um. All right, my game went down. I'm reopening it. Oh my, <clears throat> I'm falling still. It, it... Do we do we write it down, or do you want me to try and stop it? it the, the the key locks things. Uh, Lock ooh. sand. Mm. Everyone stops. Oh. The second you hear wave say lock sand, Hondo, you stop uh, going. And at this point, you're like halfway up your chest, still holding onto this rope. Jade, you're about up high, thigh high, as you were like digging into the sand and you all just stop even wave you realize that your ankles had sunk in uh before you said that but all of a sudden uh it feels as if the ground has compacted around it around you a little bit and it's not quite as shifty as it was i mean oh i stopped but it's uh it's i don't hmm. the sand's very hot it's the worst being under the sand can we uh can can you can you get out? Can you climb out, Cap? Jade? I'll try to like <sighs> Yeah, I mean it takes some tail still free. I'm gonna use my arms and my tail to like Yeah, your tail's kinda like swishing the sand out of the way from you. Um so as uh it takes a little bit of effort to get yourself up out of this, right? Like it has like immediately compacted as if it had almost frozen around you, but uh you do manage to get yourself out after some time and then I think you go over and also are able to help Hondo get out as well. This is why you don't bury your friends at the beach. Hmm. They could die. So uh Cap it, it seemed to, to to stop when I said lock sand, maybe you have to talk, tell the key what you want it to do before it'll do something. Does it look I'll different? Bring that home. Well, it can only... Ugh, Bink told me it can only lock things. Does it, does it look different? Like it did something? Does the key look different? Yeah. I don't know. Does the key look different? Uh, you look it over back in front. It doesn't seem to appear any differently than it did. Uh, make an Arcana check for me, Wave. A six? Six. Uh, you can't really tell. Uh, you think um, that gem that's on the end might be a little bit uh, clearer, a little less cloudy than it was, but you didn't... You know, besides looking at it, you didn't take that good of a look to see before, and if there is a change, it's it's rather minute. Uh, no, it, it, I mean, this this gemstone might be a little less bright, but uh, it, it kind of looks the same. Same number of teeth. It just feels like it weighs the same. Very v weird. I don't I don't know. Can you say unlock sand? And see do if we want... start sinking again? And do you can... want me to try? Yeah. Then we can lock Hello. it again. All right. Um I'll say unlock sand while uh, holding the key. At that point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The area of about a 20-foot radius from where you're standing, Wave, stays the same, stays the way it was. Everything else changes. 
entirely around you. And it's as if uh, uh, sinkholes open up one after the other until uh, everywhere there is just sand running down uh, to the point where it seems like if you step anywhere outside of where you currently are, you will immediately fall through. There is no way that this much sand could be just pouring down and disappearing below you without it being replenished. And there's no source replenishing it, but still uh, there's this weird shifting, uh, like a falling desert around you. All right. Well, Cap, it unlocks things, too. Uh, I want to look at the key again. Does it look Ooh. different now? Um, you're looking at it pretty much the same. Okay. See, I told you, I am the captain. I will f figure out this puzzle. This is the grade. Okay. Step one, done. Step two, um, let's see if the sand runs out. Or we could jump down one of the holes, see where the sand is going. Well, I mean, I think at this point everything everything's a hole except for where we currently are. I mean, we are I mean, moving. Yeah, we've we've had luck falling through portals before, but I don't know. Are there any around? Uh, I can I can check, but only once per day. Oh well, let's just wait. Uh, well, can you ooh lock the sand again and make it stop? Okay, I say lock sand. There's no effect. Oh, okay, so it was just a coincidence, I guess. Um, yeah. Hmm. What have you done? Oh. Actually, I can use it after I get a short rest, but detect portal is a short or a long rest. Am I still on the sand? Know. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the sand, but apparently there's no sand around us. Yeah, no, there, I mean, yeah. so the, the sand around you for well, a 20 foot but... radius, kind of from where Wave is, is like stable. Like you're just standing on the ground. The rest of it, it's it's almost like all of the sand is churning. Because I say like holes, it's not like there's like a giant hole. It's like uh, it, it's shifting and moving. Uh, and you can hear it's like there's like a thousand hourglasses around you. And it's just this like weird churning of sand uh, all around you. Uh, that seems rather impossible, right? Like, all this sand is moving. There's no source the sand is coming from. It seems to be falling, but there's nowhere it's falling to. Uh, but everywhere other than, like, the immediate area where you're standing uh, is uh, pretty scary looking. And it's loud. It's rather loud, because, I mean, imagine, you know, like, thousands and thousands of tons of sand being dumped all around you at the same time. I'm going to very slowly and cautiously kind of just take a couple of steps forward, mm -hmm. like towards the, the drop off of the sand that we're sent to see if this 20 foot radius follows me and or follows the key or if it's just this area that we're on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, radius does seem to follow you. All right. Uh... Okay, so, now we keep moving. This is. It looks this is... like if we keep moving, as long as we have this key, we should be okay, Cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's keep going in the direction we were going then. Make sure we stay close together. Yeah. yeah. Stay, Bink. That means you. Stay close to us. Can I try and get out of the sand. Like dig yourself out from where you had like sunk in a little bit before. Yeah, you you know you scramble up, dig yourself out. Uh, you're pretty sandy though, sandy in the shorts, sandy in the toes. It's it's rather uncomfortable. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, so oh, miserable. Uh, Get over yourself. Come on, we're moving. We're moving. Don't don't leave the circle. You have twenty. I'll follow. Yeah. Uh as you go for a while, that uh, weird torrent of churning sand uh, continues. It seems to slow down more and more as you're moving uh, until eventually uh, around you seems as if it is just as um, just as stable as what you're standing on. Uh, but as you stare off into the distance and look, um, Every once in a while, you do notice 
a bit of uh, what appears to be a mo movement, what appears to be something going on. Uh, it makes you think that what uh, the sands there might not be as calm as they appear to be to your eyes. Does it look possibly like creatures burrowing in the sand or like like you can like make in uh, my experience of like whales breaching does it kind of look similar to that just in sand yeah you can make a uh an arcana check for that a 20 20 yeah so um actually looking at it it looks almost as if it's illusory right so that like whatever that weird churning that's happening just about like everywhere right like it is over this entire desert at the point you're in it seems um uh, it seems as if there's some sort of uh illusion there that's making it appear as if that is calm uh stable land but certainly like you know terra firma under your feet where you're standing But you, you don't see a specific, like, you know, it, it's not like the Sands of Dune where you see, like, you know, the, the specific little uh, vibrations that make you think, oh, there's something moving there. It's just this, like, constant um, churning and motion within the desert. Well, I, it looks like we'll, we'll still be safe regardless of what's going on over there as long as we all stick together which should we keep going in the same direction i mean we're bound Ooh. to run into something at some point in time let's go see what that thing is the stuff's not moving part head let's towards the the illusion mm -hmm. okay well that's it's everywhere it's everywhere oh, yeah okay. it's 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 the entire desert except for the immediate area where you guys are Okay, so we are. So wait, do you think the sand is really not moving and it's just a big illusion? Other way around. At this no, point, I, yeah. it no longer appears to be moving to you. Looking at it, it looks calm. Oh. But you know that it's almost as if when you said uh, unlock sand, what it did was let you see what the sand was actually, what's actually happening around you for a limited amount of time. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm not very. I'm not being very clear. All right. So, uh, hmm. So the sand moves a lot. Maybe that's why people were thinking. But this sand under our feet does not. So we gotta get out of here before whatever is causing the sand, this sand, to not move, stops yeah. happening. Yeah. Yep. I don't know how long it's going to stay like this because yep. the rest of it, we, we got to go somewhere. Well, so maybe this is why we ha we are we can cross the desert because it's just not moving, but we, we need got to this. keep going. Yeah. So, we so let's, double let's, pick, let's pick it up. Let's yeah. go. All right. Uh, perfect. As you're going, uh, what does that kind of look like? Because I'm not asking marching order as much because you're kind i mean you you might be in a very tight kind of straight line marching order but what does this kind of grouping look like i'm gonna be next to the captain okay i was almost thinking it'd be like two by two or like one two and then one like in a diamond kind yeah, of formation yeah, what I was thinking as well. and just kind of like pretty tight staying close together because we know that we go more than 20 feet regardless of what it looks like it might be bad news bears sure okay so who's kind of in the front i guess then i guess that's me right i'm still taking point mm -hmm. wave his point probably bink and hondo right behind him if they're next to each other and then jade kind of taking up the rear but all still pretty close tight together yeah. as you do that okay sure Wave, why don't you give me another perception check then while you're kind of leading the pack? 23. Okay. Uh, man, you got the rolls today, huh? Uh, so as you are going, um, you do, after a while, at this point you've been traveling for some hours on this sand, right? Uh, since you've left, uh, since you've entered the desert area. Um, and you see something moving out in the desert at first.
first, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. It seems to be having some difficulty walking on the sand, but not nearly as much as you imagine that you would seeing kind of what's going on there. Um, and as you get closer and closer to the thing, uh, it's nothing like you've ever seen before. Um, it's not a super large creature. It's probably about as tall as uh, you are, right? Um, somewhere between five and a half, six feet or so. Um, but it's rather stout and wide. Uh, it also has three legs, three arms, and what appears to be... Be, and you can't tell until you're getting more close as this thing is like walking on the three legs and like stumbles for a second and then continues to walk slow moving a giant gaping mouth with uh really like dagger like teeth on the top of its body looking at it this thing stands out quite a bit it probably would have fit in pretty well in the rocky terrain you left but here in this desert uh this creature made out of this almost reddish uh stone um stands out like a sore thumb well, i was originally gonna see if we wanted to go help it until i heard what it looked like and i don't know if we want to get anywhere near it I was like, oh, do you think it's friendly in my Limited experience hunting cap. Anything with that amount of teeth is not friendly. Oh, that's that's not very nice. Maybe they're friendly teeth. And at this point, it does seem to have seen you. You can see, you're close enough to see, uh, you know, it's kind of body makeup at this point. And it does seem to have eyes, uh, and they're kind of like on the sides of its body a little bit. And you see uh, this kind of yellowish eye, like. Uh, dart towards you and look and it starts to move slightly more quick quickly than it was uh though still clumsily in your direction oh here it comes it's coming what do we... battle formations cap do we run what do we do no say hello you want me to say hello oh well, no just in general everybody wave hi see if, see if it's right. friendly i don't want to say hello wave hi at it all right. Uh, as you do, it kind of stops moving, and it's still kind of like is like shifting its feet, moving under it, and it's like standing back up. And then one of the three arms that have like uh, three almost pincer-like finger appendages on it raises up, and then it waves back to you. <laughs> See, it is friendly. <laughs> And then it kind of slowly again on its three trunk-like legs starts moving in your direction again. Oh. As I'm walking with my head down. Cause... Can can you talk? Yes. Hey, I can talk. Yes. Hello. Oh. Hey, uh, and as it's, it's like still moving, it's going slowly. You can tell its eyes like go from darting to you to like looking at the ground around it, and it seems to be avoiding what's probably uh, the more serious pitfalls around. And its three legs always shifting under its feet as it's trying to kind of really get uh, its stance there. Uh, and he says, uh, "How is, how's it going?" Oh, you know, it's very good. We are trying to get across the desert here, and apparently we're not doing too bad, because I think we're most of the way done, unless you can confirm or deny. Oh. But we're a bit lost, to be honest. Well, uh, I've been stuck here for a while. Uh, maybe... And it kind of, like, looks you over. It kind of actually, like, turns its body a bit, so, like... Uh, in between all of its arms, it seems to have an eye, and it kind of like seems to turn so that one of the other eyes gets to get a look at you for a while. And it's this weird thing, because you can see this big maw on top of its body just kind of like opening up and as it's speaking. Um, and you hear like the clacking as its teeth hit together. Um, he says, Do you have any gemstones on you? No. I 
very quickly put the key into my pocket. Sure. S sneakily, if possible. Uh, Why do you ask? Well, I'm... Yes, I'm rather sure that I... I smell a gemstone. You can smell a stone? Yes, but why do you ask? I'm... I do not have any on me, but why do you ask? I'm hungry. Oh, you eat them? That is amazing. Oh, not... I eat meat. That's... That's disgusting. Mm, to eat his own. It sounds painful. Nope. Nope, it works out just fine for me. It's not much to eat here, though. You know, we've been walking for about uh, a few hours from this, and I point back to the direction we came. You know, you go back that way. As soon as you pass the desert part, there's this little rock part, and there's a pit, and there's someone, some rock dude there uh, guarding some... I don't know. He called it some ancient thing. It probably might be have gems in it that you can get some food there. Oh, that's not how this place works. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I only walked into the desert about 20 minutes or so. Turned right back around, but I've been in the desert ever since. Oh. Worrisome. Yeah, oh. I'm pretty sure it goes on forever. Yeah, that was something that the guy in the pit said too. If we did not have his artifact, that we would get stuck in here. Do it's you the... have any metal? Did he say for? Well, yes. I mean, it's not as good as gemstones, but but if you have metal. Well, I don't really have anything that I could, like, give up. I kind of need it. Uh, and he's kind of like, <laughs> you can see the eye kind of shifting to each of you, like, and it's, he's like moving around a little extra, almost like, hopefully. I don't, I have, I, I have, I, I pull out uh, like a, a gold piece. I has I have one piece of gold. It's metal, right? Can I? And an arm like reaches out with these three fingers, and like offers oh, no. it. Can I? Please. And I'll just kind of not like get close to it. I'll flick it, like to him into his hand. Yeah, and he kind of like catches it, and kind of. Uh, moves it around its body. Uh, it, it almost like rubs it around where its mouth is, and then it goes, yeah. And he like opens up his hand and drops it in. Uh, and you see the mouth, even though this thing is, it's not anywhere near where these teeth are, right? But the, the mouth goes, and you hear this like crunching noise. Um, and he goes, oh. I'll, I'll whisper to him. You couldn't have given him copper. I don't have any. Haven't nice. really, haven't really been in a town to like change it out yet. That was, that wasn't bad at all. Do you have any more? I look to everyone else. I'm Not like, wow. any more extra. Maybe, maybe I could help you. Yes, maybe I can help you, and then you'll give me more. Uh, okay, okay. I think we can uh, make we can make a deal. What kind of help are you offering? Right. I mean, well, we got to be honest here. You just told me you were lost in the desert. So, well, I've been here a pretty long time. What are you looking for? How to get out? 
Mm -hmm. You have to go uh, kill these things. Maybe a a portal back to the middle realm? Uh, I thought you were from there. Mm. I've been there before. Why has everyone been there before? Didn't like it much. You should go and help us kill those rock things. Do you know the way back to them? Well, apparently not, because everything looks the same. We cannot see what was behind us. So going Based back on to the game won't take us there, so... Based on how the sand was moving, could we tell if it was moving in one specific direction? Like, maybe it was moving all clockwise, and so if we could figure out how fast the sand was going, I could kind of have an idea of where they would be. Roll roll an intelligence check for me. Just a straight intelligence. Will do. 19. 19. Okay. Um, so all of the sand, kind of, it, what it seemed like is like a hole opened up underneath, and the sand just seems to be pouring straight down, kind of wherever it was. I thought was. you said it was churning, like... Yeah, so, um... I did say churning. I guess I meant that, like, the fact that this was happening everywhere... And that somehow the sand had to keep replenishing itself from somewhere. You know, like if I have a handful of sand and I, I let it fall out of my hand, but there's still sand in my hand. Like it's still there. So so then we would know the direction then because it wouldn't have moved. So we should know exactly where we were going. So with it, that intelligence them. check, you're pretty sure you know the exact direction that you came from. Um, looking back... Are you trained in Arcana? Uh, yes. I think you are, right? So, yep. uh, from your experience with the other plane, like planes of existence, being on weird planes of existence, um, mm-hmm. things like direction, things like physical space, just don't seem to have the same properties here. Mm-hmm. So, like, the fact that you walked in a straight line does not necessarily mean that going in a straight line the same direction would lead to the same place. So even though I'm familiar, Mm -hmm. I couldn't get us back. You could certainly try. You think you know (laughs) – because you you think you know the direction, right? Like, like, your senses as, like, a a gnome, as, like, a a mortal creature is, like – I came from there, so if yeah. I walk there, I'm going to go where I came from, because that's how mm-hmm. direction works. But based on what Zorn... Because th- this creature told you, he walked for 20 minutes, turned around, walked 20 minutes back, and, and did not get... end up where he came from. You know what I mean? I mean, this is all well and good, Bink, but we don't need to get back to where that rock guy is. We need to get out of here. We need to get back home. There's no guarantee we can make it home. But if this guy can help us get to the middle plane... This guy can't help us do anything! Whoa, 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 be nice! Listen. Listen. You have to to excuse him. The last time we made a deal with a creature from an elemental plane, he kind of screwed us over. So he's just a little... He's got some trust issues. I actually like this rock guy, but I'm a little upset with you guys. Why? Don't ask me why. I'm going to take out my knife, and I'm going to go right for Wave's shirt, and I'm going to try and cut off a little piece of his shirt. He's like making voodoo dolls, guys. Wave, are you going to stop him from cutting your shirt? I'm going to try and get out of the way, and I'm going to say to my new little friend, it's like, look, he's got a metal knife. All right, Bink, roll to attack. (laughs) Attack the shirt. Oh, shit, how do I do that? Yeah, strength check. Is it strength? Okay. Nine. Nope. Yeah, you Armor go. class, 15. Uh, I'll, as I go to 
stab it, I'll f- kind of miss and fall over yep. and get to right to the edge of where the little circle mm-hmm. is. Ah! 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 Uh, ah! And the creature goes over, like waddles over to you and tries to like go down with one of these like big arms with these big claws on it and tries to like grab you by the arm and help you up. Ah! Ah! Get! Ah! Oh! Ah! I'll let him help me up. <sighs> You guys got me into this mess, and now yeah. I can't get out. Hey, I like you too, little man. I you like seem... this guy. Uh, I don't know how you make the sand stop shifting, but if I could move with you for a little while, it would be easier going for me. I'm very good at sniffing out metal and and gemstones, so if we come across them... You think I can have one? Ho, 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 ho. This is going to be a great relationship. If we find enough... I only want one. I'm just so hungry. I'll take out my knife... Yep. 70, 30 split, this? it's perfect. That. You want this knife? And he kind of like deflates a little and kind of weakly puts out one of those arms and says, yes, please. Yeah, you can have it. And he takes wow. it. I'm going to try and pet him. Um, Like not a pet, but like a... a car- yeah, you caress. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and as you do this... His toe, as I can't... <laughs> the, the metal goes right in and he kind of like... <laughs> eats it as his like feet are shifting under you and you know he's very rough uh almost as if he's made out of not quite stone but like a rock hard scale and leather you know uh it's it's very it's a very weird and he he must be extremely heavy uh Mm. all over he kind of has like some spikes on him too in some places they're bigger um, and they stick out. Uh, you don't necessarily know that they would do very like his claws and his teeth definitely look like they could do damage. These spikes don't seem to. They probably have some sort of, um, you know, evolutionary type uh, defenses. You, you mind if I? Hard, right? Sorry. Say again. No. You said he's pretty large, right? Uh, he's about five and a half, six feet or so. Yeah, he's tall, but he's he's stout. You know. Yeah, I'm just worried about him have, us having enough space to like for him to travel with us. He's a he. You think he's considered a medium creature, so the same size as like you would be. Yeah. You okay. think I could get on top of you and you no, could no, carry no, no. me? No, no, no. Um, and he kind of he kind of like <laughs> gestures up to like towards where his giant mouth is on top of him. Oh, I'll God. sit on your head. I'll give you one of the gems that we find. No, no, no. I don't think that is a head. I think it's more of the whole top is a mouth. You don't want to be up there. Yeah, he doesn't have a head. He's like a a body, but the whole top is this big, giant mouth. What could I ride on one of the spikes, Matt? Can uh, I ride on one of the spikes? You could kind of get on, like, the shoulder of one of these yeah. arms that are coming off. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems realistic. You think that would be okay? Uh... Yours. I did sure. give you my knife, and now I can't kill them if I wanted to, so you have to help me out. If well, you... you're not really complicated. You could... Wait, you going to kill us? No, I wasn't going to kill you, I'm just saying. I don't like your just sayings. Can I, can I get on? Sure. I'm uh... going to start getting... Yeah, and he kind of like hoists you up. Onto, so you're like on what he has like three shoulders right and you're on one of them and you can uh see a little bit into now like down into this huge gaping mouth that is there it is terrifying it's like uh what is it is it the sarlacc is it a sarlacc and yeah i'm pit? saying the right thing thank you mm-hmm. uh like looking at the sarlacc pit with this this big uh spiky teeth and all the way down there are like other rows of teeth that disappears into the darkness oh my god i'm glad you're our friend hey uh, you are too. climbing on somebody's back without even asking him what his name is uh, we're blind. gonna get we're gonna get there don't worry 
And as I get up there to the top, I'm going to stand up really proud. Now, am I at, like, their height now? Like, Wave's height? Are You'd we probably like... be able... Yeah, it'd be like sitting on Wave's shoulders, you know what I mean? So okay. you're a little bit higher than them. I'm going to stand up all super proud, and I'm going to point at all of them. Now, I'm just as tall as all of you, and if you want to say something to my face, you got to say it to my friend, too. Your friend who you don't even know the name of? He's a nice man with teeth. It's like, well, you you can stay up there, Bink, but the next time you try and stab me with your fucking knife, I'm going to put your face in the ground. I'm telling I you right now. To, I didn't try to stab you. I tried to take your shirt. I told either, you I was going to try. Either way, you failed, buddy. The next time you come at me with a weapon, you'll regret it. I'm not coming at you with a weapon. My, my buddy over here is going to take care of you. Say another word, I dare you. And it it kind of like waves, <laughs> with one of the other arms on the other side of its body. I just look at Bink and I say, "Dumb fuck." I was like, then back to our buddy here. It's like, well, it sounds like we have an arrangement, friend. Uh, the cap says you can come with us, and if we find some treasure, some gemstones, we'll we'll share whatever we find with you, so you can eat them. Great. Uh, yes. What's what's your name, friend? We hate to be rude. Uh, I am Zorn. Z Zort with a T or the D? Zorn. No. Zorn. Zorn. Can I call you Rocky? No. Uh. Okay. Wait, but he's not even made of rocks or anything. He looks like a Rocky, doesn't he? Not Cap. really. Cap, do you remember that one guy? Oh. He was he was kind of like a tough guy, but you, you beat him up. Remember him? Remember him? He was like two towns back before we got into this mess. You beat him up. Punched him. I don't know. We, we had a lot of drunken money. nights. We stole his money. I mean, we're pirates. We drink a lot of rum. Speaking of, I could really use some rum right now. Oh, I could really use, like, a sapphire. Mm, is that like your, uh... We can feed you a jade! <laughs> that would be delicious. <laughs> Alright, come over here, jade. Come on! Hey! Hey! Get over I'm here! I'm not rock! <laughs> oh, I thought you just meant anything named that. I don't know, uh... I was gonna say, I didn't know a sapphire. So I I'm couldn't get... a... Yeah. Oh, we met a sapphire that one time. That uh, oh yes, we did, Captain. That that, that club that was. Oof. Ugh. So Zorn, which way do we go? Her and her brother. Ooh. Uh, let's let's go that way. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. I like this. All right. Uh, Ooh, as... It's like having. The, uh. I take my navigator. We find a new one, and we merge them together because they're on top of each other. Well, let's face it, the old one sucked. This one's got to be better. <laughs> um, at this point, you it is a bit more slow going. Uh, the Zorn cannot uh, walk quite as quickly as you guys can. It's definitely quicker than it was before because uh, it's on more solid ground. But you do find yourself slowing down uh, a bit, you know, to like kind of a, a, a walking pace um, as you go. I'm going to sing. You're going to sing? Yep. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, my wonderful friend, Rocky and me, going through the desert. Oh, Rocky. He's going to take wave and throw him into the golem pit. If he keeps on talking. And I'll just continue to say that same line over and over again. Sure. What's your uh, What's your wisdom modifier, Bink? Um. <laughs> two. Plus two. The Bink one eight. <laughs> Carmen is amazing. <laughs> uh, all right. I only uh, rolled a ten. So uh, as you're walking and you're singing and you're really proud of yourself for singing, uh, you feel a tugging at your side. Uh, and as you look down, it moves away really quick, but you realize that this, this creature uh, was going for your money pouch. Uh, Rocky, how 
We do you want some some of this money? Oh, I'm. And it, it kind of like stops walking, and then like as wave keeps going, he has to like s scuttle forward and realize he has to keep up, and he's like, uh, "I'm just so hungry." If you you don't, oh, I could, I'll take one out, boop, drop it in. And you're kind of like jostled as you're on his shoulder, but he kind of uses Hold his on. shoulders to chew a bit. Um, you know, guys, when we get back, we need to buy a new ship. You don't know forget. what? Yeah, but if we don't we don't pay him, he's not going to keep moving. Beef money? I don't know. It's the only metal I have. He's kind of like a. I once had a barkeep that was like that. <laughs> wouldn't take. He wouldn't wouldn't hang out with me if I didn't pay him. I think Doesn't most people you know hang out with you if you don't pay them. Well, I paid him enough. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, he paid him for sexual favors, Cap. And food. <laughs> and beer. Like what? Ah! Let's keep going. And if you yeah. go far enough, I'll give you another one of these. Oh, hold up a... okay. I don't know if I have any. Uh... Yeah, I haven't been to town to, like, exchange. No? Yeah, so I just have gold pieces. Just gold pieces. Yeah. That's all right. He'd yeah. rather have gold. Okay. It's tastier for him. He appreciates yeah, it. Yeah, but I was trying to be a little cheap. But... I, under I, understand. I understand. It's going to be expensive. <laughs> uh, how many How how many gold are you willing to feed him as you go? Um, five? Okay. Yeah. If I like... feel like he's moving and he's not like trying to just no, no, know, no, no. stop if... every... He's not trying to stop. I mean, again, he's not the quickest moving creature, but uh, he's definitely trying his best to keep pace with the rest of you. You know, he has a big, heavy body and three legs to move around, whereas you guys, you know, have a little bit easier time going. Not to speak for the captain, but Fink, if you can't contribute to getting a new ship, you're not going to be allowed on the new one. Well, we can't get a new ship if we're stuck here. So what do you... Do you have any metal? You haven't given him any. Hmm? You tried to feed me to him. I think I'm... Well, good. somebody oh, has to feed sorry. him. Somebody sorry, has no. to carry me. No one has to carry you. you you're your own two feet. I am very... I'm too... He's too know. fat. He's too fat to walk on his own, Captain. How dare <laughs> you... I'm gonna, oh, well. you, you I'm gonna reach for where my knife would be. Yeah. You've been getting, you've ah. been getting a little plump. How? There's no food. <laughs> what? We're in the fucking desert. It's been two days. Two you don't lose days. all your fatness that you were gaining while you were on the the ocean. I, I, my mom told me I'm not fat. When's the last time you saw her? Oh, it's been a real long time, but she told me I was born big boned. Yeah, and then you put <laughs> bigger stuff on top of those bones. I'm so upset. I'm gonna cry into the monster. No, he's not his a name monster. Isn't monster. He's a real person. His name is Rocky. And how dare you for making me call him monster? <laughs> You're the real monster here. <laughs> Congratulations, chat. I see that they just uh, solved the mystery in Rhodes' puzzle that was going yes. around. Very exciting, awesome. very exciting. Um, I still don't know what the answer is, but, but I'm sure that'll be shared at some point, too. I th yeah, I think there's what three different coded there's messages three... oh, about yeah. vaults and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yep. The vault is cool. I'm sorry for yelling. Uh, you hot. So you guys walk on uh, a bit more, continuing, um, and as you go, after a while, uh, Wave, you think you see something out in the distance. Uh, and what it's do I think I see? So it's hazy, um, and you can't really tell, but definitely there seems to be something 
sticking up out of the sand uh, in the direction you're going. And then as you continue to go more and more, it seems to be uh, man-made. Almost like pillars sticking up out of the sand uh, as if they're ruins of some kind in the middle of this desert. Okay. Say, uh, hey, Zorn, old buddy, does, uh, does that look familiar to you? Do you know what that might be over there? Do you sense any treasure over there? And, and he kind of like turns his body a little bit uh, as his eye darts around, um, trying to get his good eye in that direction, facing Bink backwards a little bit as he does. Um, and he kind of like yeah. squints and looks ahead and says, Oh, I can't smell treasure yet, but uh, that's good. That's a landmark. We should We should go that way. Oh, first one in a while. Let's do it. All right, let's let's go set up camp. This is fantastic. Yeah, you get them carried. Yeah, because I was nice to Rocky, and he carried me. Maybe if you were nice to me, I'd carry you. Uh, actually, the little guy, my shoulders kind of starting to bug me a bit. If you wouldn't mind. No problem, buddy. Oh, Jump thanks. down. Oh, just a lot of walking today. You know, I have given you a job for like eight years. And you have never said thank you for anything I have done for you. And you just... This guy. I mean, you plot to kill him and overthrow him and take over his boat. But yeah, thank you is out of the question. I... I said I'm sorry for yelling, so I won't yell at you. But ever since you decided to take these guys, nothing has been the same. And you throw me aside like I'm just another... Just another... Helper on the boat. We are pirates! That's what we do. We you were more than position. just pirates! You work for your position. And you stopped I have fled, working. I have kept you on time for years. And what do I get? Nothing. You got like Nothing. a fourth of the share. Yes. But and I wanted more than might, that. Well, I might have been a little less than a fourth, but <gasps> <laughs> who was counting? <laughs> I was. <laughs> Furious. Furious. Uh, as you get closer and closer, you do realize, in fact, this is definitely, um, it's hard to call it a ruin, right? Because it does seem to be just a collection of columns. Uh, and usually, if you were thinking ruins, you know, you'd see other pieces of walls or that sort of thing, anything to um, uh, intimate like a, a building structure of some kind, but there's nothing like that. Uh, there are just several uh, rather plain looking stone columns uh, sticking up um, in various areas in this general area kind of clustered together. Some of them have broken so that the top of the column is like in the ground, slightly buried. Uh, others are broken off in ways where you can't see the pieces that are gone. Uh, some of them are indeed intact and standing there. All in all, there's about a couple dozen of them. They seem to be arranged in no particular order that you can tell. Uh, and it is the only thing around that you notice. Anything about it look alterish? Um. Hmm. Any kind of religious iconography or writings or? Uh, make an investigation check as you're uh, looking at it. And at this point, I'm imagining everyone's kind of like stopped and hanging out and like checking this place out. So, 14. so wait. Okay. Uh, so while Wave is doing that, what's everyone else doing? I'm feeding Rocky. What are you feeding? You're just feeding him more gold. Well, just the gold that the last piece of gold that okay. took him to get here. Yeah, he took that that last piece, and again. That would be five total. Right? Okay. Okay. Oh well, how about you tell me? You, I asked you how much you would be willing to feed him, and you said five. So. <laughs> I mean, Five. Hit. Okay. Five. 
<laughs> Bye. Sure. Um. <laughs> yeah. So he eats it, and he's like, "Oh, thank you. Even just that little bit is better than nothing." Um, Jade, what are you doing? He's just like scoping, scoping it out. Just taking a look, seeing what's around, seeing yeah. what these columns are. Sure. And Honda, what are you doing? Sitting down. Okay. <clears throat> Sitting down, relaxing. Uh, so Wave, you're looking these columns um over from like the area you see, and you're kind of like trying to move some of the sand out of the way and really get a look. Uh, they don't seem to be carved with any sort of recognizable iconography that you can tell. They're a bit uh kind of weather worn. They seem to be rather old. Um, but other than that, they seem to have been made as just smooth pillars, uh, all the way up. Um, and they end at the end. They're just kind of rounded off at the top too. Like they they wouldn't. They're not even flat. Like you would put something on top of them. Uh, and, and it's not it's not like pointy like obelisk style either. It's just kind of like rounded off at the top. Um, these weird things. You can even see the tops of uh, one of them that had fallen over. And looking at it, um, yeah, there's there's nothing recognizable. Uh, you can't really tell what they would have been used for doesn't seem like they were a support of any kind of structure it does not no 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 they they i mean unless it was like a, a ball and socket kind of thing you know <laughs> that so it possibly could have been that okay i could go back to the rest of the group and let them know there's Nothing, nothing hidden. No kind of writing or pictures or anything. Um, I don't know if there's like an entryway, like a door down underneath the ground. I don't know if there's like there could be. This could be the entrance to a cave or something. Did you try the key anywhere? I didn't. I mean, I can try and say like open stone or something like, and see if it does and when you say that you hear a crack and one of the pillars um seems to like like dust shoots out of the, the building and you watch it Ooh, fall out. and like sand come out as it as like the entire pillar that stood about 15 feet in the air just falls over and crashes into the sand hmm we got to be careful what we say sometimes. <laughs> Does it break? Uh, it doesn't. No, it stays uh, pretty intact as it just hits the sand. It kind of displaces what was there. Um, I mean, I could say the reverse and see if it goes back up. Or see if whatever this was rebuilt itself. Uh -huh. um, was there a door or anything? Did anything like... Yeah, check what the... Unlock. Yeah, you guys, you go over to where it was, and as you do, you actually realize it, it broke low in the ground, like in its base under the sand. So as it fell, uh, more sand came and replaced, so so the base where it was is now buried. I mean, you could dig to find it, but, but it's not immediately mm. visible. I want to see. I will help dig. Yeah, there might be a door down there or something. Okay, who you smell starts? anything yet, our friend uh, Zorn? Oh, uh, oh me, I, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, who starts to dig? Me with my shield. All right. Uh, oh, help. sure. I'll yeah. So, no. well, you do, Jade. I'm gonna use my shield to dig too. Yeah, so H Hondo and Jade start using their shields to do. Um, Bink also is kind of in there and trying to get at it. Uh, Wave, what are you doing? Um, I guess just like assisting whenever I can, like holding back uh, some sand, like as it's getting pushed away by the shields. Maybe just trying to keep it from falling back in the hole. Sure. Okay. Just with like my hands. So a few things happen here uh, that's 
um, all kind of uh, weird for the lot of you. Uh, so, so Jade and Honda are moving like large amounts of sand, right? Uh, and Bink is also trying to like push it out of the way and keep getting more sand as he's doing it too, as you're trying to get to the base of this pillar um, that's underneath there. Um, Wave, you start to like hold back, you know, you like you take a, a, an armful of sand and pull it and go to hold it back, and then you go to get to get the other armful of sand and you pull it back and the last amount of sand that you had dug and that was there isn't there anymore and as you're looking they keep digging and digging and i think after a minute you take a step back uh because you're watching as they dig they are in fact making a hole but all of the displaced sand seems to be either sinking into the ground or disappearing as the area surrounding them remains flat uh, and eventually, though, as this is happening, you do get to the pillar. Uh, you're able to kind of like clear out the area, look at it. Um, it seems to be uh, not necessarily, you know, a clean break. It's kind of, you know, like like jagged and broken a bit. But looking at it, there's nothing uh, at the base that you can tell that uh, is strange, mostly uh, the strange thing is that, again, once you do, as you look around, all of this sand that you displace, which is quite a bit to dig into this, uh, isn't even there anymore. Um, Wave, hmm. what is your uh, passive perception? So uh, 14. Okay, now you notice, as this is going on, you kind of stood back, uh, you notice, again, Zorn's... Uh, little hand, because he is not the sneakiest mofo, although he's trying to be, uh, going for where you have the key. And then pulls back, as you notice. Okay. I kind of take a step back and say, hey, we had a deal. When we find treasure, we will share it with you, but you can't be taking stuff from other people. Oh, and he kind of, like, puts its body down and, like, holds up its hand. I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's... I haven't eaten in so long it's like i don't have control of myself i fed you like four seconds ago <sighs> Crumbs. don't you try to steal from him again listen you you and he kind of like pokes it at your stomach a little bit you look Me? like yeah you look like you haven't missed a meal in a while there you're poking me Wave, get him! <laughs> and he says, and he kind of like looks at himself and goes, "I'm wasting away to nothing." <laughs> Wave, so, well, take care of him. That may be, but you don't want to be the second elemental we've met in this plane of existence who goes sour on a deal they made with us, do you? The last one broke his word. I don't want you to be the same way. I. I don't want to break my word. I just thought you guys might help me find something. We are trying. I'm going to walk up to him. Mm -hmm. And that it's was our deal. As soon as we find something, a share of it's yours. But if you keep trying to steal from people, that's all going to go out the window. Mm. And you kind of like uses its whole body rocking that you take kind of uh, like a nod. Don't break my heart again, Rocky. And I'll take out one more piece and I'll feed it to him. Oh. <laughs> and you hand it to him. Uh, and you see like a little tear come from this weird big eye on the side of its body as he's like, thank you. Why would you give that to him now? Have you ever not trained a dog? You do He's not, not a dog. But it's the same thing. You do not no, reward. He is. A, Don't you say that about him. Finish. You do not reward anything, any person, an animal, after they've done something wrong. Captain, he is not a dog. He is an elemental. And he's well, sensitive. We don't really know what he is. He is sensitive. Let him go. You don't know that. He's just trying to eat. I'm, He's hungry, yeah, but come on. I'm just trying to eat, Captain. I'm very oh, you sensitive. Call me Captain. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. <laughs> Keep digging. 
You don't Rocky's need to keep gonna digging. Eat us. You keep digging. Oh, well, we saw that we found the base of the pillar. There's no door here. Unlocked it. You <sighs> can I try? Can I have the key for a second? Absolutely not. <laughs> I look in amazement. Like, how would he not fucking let me use it? Are we not shipmates and possibly best friends? <laughs> you won't let me. You won't let me use the key for a second. I gave no. you the key. What the captain told no. The captain told you to give me the key, so that's why I have the key. Captain, please let me try the key. Have I have I, have I ever pointed you in the wrong direction? Well, there was that one time, and then no, nope. well, maybe, nope. but okay. Well, we still got there on time anyway, but it was just not very conventional. Uh, all right. Wave, give him the key. Let him try it. But let us get off this pillar first in case it starts to repair itself and we get crushed. Fair. All right. There you go. It's all yours, buddy. And I'll take the key. Yeah. And I'll hold it up in the air. And then I'll point it at the pillar, the base of the pillar, uh -huh. not the broken part. Unlock! Wow, the pillar is amazing. <laughs> Nothing happens. All right. Sorry, it didn't work, and I'll give it back to Wave. Okay. I thought I was powerful enough. It just didn't work. It was a good try. I mm. appreciate it. Jade, make a perception check. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're while they're talking, you're just kind of like, "Wow, these pillars are pretty." <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! If he takes my coin stack i'm killing him i just uh, we tried we tried i may regret this but you know i get it back in a short rest so we could take a short rest here if we really really needed to i want to use detect portal sure um so a couple things happen at that point uh can you also make a perception check as you're using detect portal for me a 22. Okay. All right. So as you do, you notice a couple things. Uh, first, that these pillars are not portals themselves, right? Right. It's not like you can walk into this pillar and then you're going to disappear and go somewhere else. But they are giving off the essence of a portal of some sort. Um, I want to say it's, it's not as much, and again, this is not something that you're expecting when you're like looking for a portal, right? But um, it's less of this is where a portal is. Here is a potential way to get to another place. Uh, instead, it, it's it's like portal as a verb. Por the portal is happening. And you see this energy coming through those pillars. You also notice the pillars are taller than they were. Okay. The mm. pillars are taller than they were. Uh, and looking around, thinking that they're coming from the ground, you realize that the, uh, the, the base of the pillar, the one that Bink had just tried to unlock that was in the ground, as you're looking, is now actually just a bit higher than the level of the ground. Ooh, like it something. looks like we're sinking and as you think that and you look around you actually realize the level of the horizon around you has raised as if the area you're in is sinking slowly into the earth right cap we might actually be in a portal now and we might be headed down oh like to oh hell? no no, oh, I love the good life. And as you, he says that, you actually watch the pillars. And you, like if you pick a spot on it, you're watching it slowly start to rise uh, as the ground below, below you seems to be sinking down. Um, at that point, you actually start feeling uh, the shifting of the sand under your feet as if it's starting to give way. Uh, uh -oh. it's, it's almost as if the, the sand underneath your feet is thinning out. 
I do. Everyone grab onto a pillar, I guess. Oh, okay. Do you all grab onto the same pillar? Uh, well, I would stand on the one that we were digging on. Oh, okay, so Hunter just gets on top of the one that you had dug, and it's it's big enough, right? Like it's a it's a few, you know, a few feet kind of. Yeah, is there like there's like a base on it, right? Or what was a base because at one point in time? Uh, it doesn't seem to be. No, it seemed that the pillars continued underground, and it just cracked at one point. Okay, you haven't quite gotten to a point where there is a base yet. Yeah, I, I jump up wherever the cap is. I'm just kind of yeah, hanging on. Okay, so you guys are either like on top or like hanging off to the edge uh, as the ground below you starts to disappear. Uh, and it keeps moving and keeps moving as if uh, the, the whole um, area around you is sinking in. Uh, and at one point you look and you're probably about 30 feet above this ground. Uh, oh my. You look over at the creature that was with you, and it's uh, ar- he's holding on to the pillar a little bit below where you are, but its arm is actually inside the pillar, as if he's almost like fused with it. Right? Ooh. So he's holding himself on that way. As you see his mouth, this big maw below you, talk and say, what's going on? I don't know, but Something the ground is sinking. We are going up. I don't know. I don't have a very good bearing of what's moving. I I feel that we're traveling to another plane of existence, but I don't know how. We're we're doing what? Uh, and as he says that, you hear a crack. Oh god! And you Uh-oh. feel the tower you're on start to sway a bit. Oh, balance, 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 balance. And then another crack as it falls. Oh, like a tree falling in the middle of the woods where there's it makes sound. just a bunch of you to hear it. Uh, <laughs> uh, as it does, you f- see the sand f- rushing up to meet you closer and closer as you're going down to meet it. And where you're going to hit and you brace for impact, you break through. And then you're just falling. Yeah, that's cast, about par uh, for the course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast Feather Fall on all of us. Sure. Uh, can you get all... Uh, all five. Yep. Five of you? Perfect. Okay. So as it's going, you, you're all just falling in. Um, uh, you cast Feather Fall. And those of you that are familiar with this, you know, you... Um, you feel a little bit better, like, oh, okay, at least I won't be hurt when I hit the ground. Uh, you do hear your friend that was with you going, oh, um, this, like, awful guttural scream as he is probably <laughs> not is used o- to falling. It's okay, calm element. down. It's okay, Rocky. I, I, You're not going to get hurt. Just stop yelling. Uh, how, I... how long does Feather Fall last? Um, One minute? I think it's a minute, right? One minute, yeah. Yeah. Um, so looking around, you're just falling, and you're trying to... Uh, you're, like, brushing sand out of the way. Uh, at this point... Ooh, my eye. Uh, you know, the pillar see, is, seems to be gone, and it was flung away from you as you go. And you find yourself falling for a full minute, and you're still falling. Is and at like, that point... Like falling into blackness? Like... Yeah, so at is that it just po- falling into sand? So you were kind of, like, falling with the sand, right? And trying to, like, push it away. And at this point, enough of the sand, like, as you're falling, has dispersed um, away from you uh, so that you can kind of, like, see your surroundings. Uh, And as you look, um, you seem to be falling through blue sky. So I want to just hold just... Yeah. before we get too close to the ground if i see that we're getting close enough yeah you to don't like the ground see or ground. something just at any point i do want to yeah. cast it again okay so we can... uh good to know but at this point you seem to be full and actually at this point looking around up down all around you do you no longer feel as if you were falling and it's the weirdest thing you f- it almost it's this weird thing where, like, in your gut, in the pit of your gut, you have the feeling of falling. Uh, but to your other senses, it's almost as if you're suspended. Um, out in the distance, there seem to be wisps of clouds uh, far away from you. But looking around, 
there is no ground. There is blue sky that you are falling through and nothing uh, else. Cap, <laughs> I think we made it to the plane of elemental air. Just to Whoa. guess. Well, Can I like, just, like, like swim? Like swim <laughs> through the air? Like falling? <laughs> Uh, as you do it, it doesn't seem to change your trajectory. You know what I mean? We, like you're not yeah. moving. Are we away still from moving at all? Are we moving down? Uh, make a perception check. Uh, that would be a one you, for a roll of a five. It is. It is messing with your senses, right? You're like I said, the the pit of your gut, right? Uh, that that part of you that when you miss the last step, walking down a flight of stairs, reacts, still feels as if you're falling. Uh, however, you can't really uh, pinpoint and tell what's going on, uh, as you just seem to be falling through open space for the most part. I'm going to lay out. Sure. Like I'm just laying comfortably while we move, if we're moving. Yeah, and as you do as that, like I was on the ship, the clothes around you definitely feel like they're flapping, as if uh, at the very least there's a strong wind around you if you're not uh, actually actively falling at like, maximum velocity. Keep my hat on. I'd be very upset if I lose my hat. Oh, I don't like this at all. Nah. Any Ooh. ideas? I'm gonna be sick. Oh, please. Ooh, Ooh. yes, I would actually like to see that. How do you get sick? <laughs> I don't oh, know. That. It's never happened before. <laughs> Ooh, science! <laughs> as, as he's, like, clutching at his big ol' stomach area with all three of his hands. Um, he's, he's curled up in uh, the elemental version of a fetal position. He's like, this is the opposite of where I want to be. Yeah, I don't know how we just kind of shifted. I mean, I could, I could say S T O P air and see what happens. Or L O C K. Or yeah, uh -huh, that one. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> hmm. Well, that one's dangerous because then if it if it does actually like stop, will we be able to breathe? Yeah, that's a little worrisome. Ooh. Maybe we should rephrase or it in a way. Clouds or sky or Ooh. something. I mean, I mean, you get used to it after a while. You just keep going and do nothing. And you oh, hear this well, weird. We don't, don't. You hear this weird deep burp come out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it stinks. What did it, it smell like? It's sulfurous. <laughs> smells like gold if you would like melt it down <laughs> just say it I don't want to fall anymore I don't even know if we're still falling um, well, we, I mean... alright I will uh, like kind of take out the key in my pocket and sure. hold it and say lock sky guardian no <laughs> Um, your feet kind of hit what appears to be uh, an invisible pathway underneath you. Uh, very much like what you were walking through in that space before, but you can't see it, but it feels quite the same as you stop. Hondo, you hit it a little harder, having been kind of like sideways, uh, and so you fall a couple feet and kind of... <laughs> Um, the creature oh, you were with shoulder. continues to fall and disap and it starts to disappear below it. This is going. Oh! Yeah, Are you I fucking kidding you. me? You're Sorry. gonna move forward like that? Are you? Are... You guys can do something <laughs> if you like want to. He... But you are watching him disappear below. I'm fine with it. I don't know how any of this works, so I'm fucking confused as all hell. I have no idea why he's still going. I'm fucking Is it because he's made of sand or earth? And, like, when you say, when you said what you said, it didn't stop him? I mean, if that's the case, there's nothing I can do to save him. As he's disappearing. Stay stop rock. Stay stop rock. Stop rock. rock. Lock rock. 
Pop, uh, at that point, as you say that, the, the kind of distant scream of the creature uh, stops. Oh no, we killed him. Oh no. Ah! Is he still visible? and Or is he too far make, fallen? Make a perception check for me. <clears throat> 18? Okay. Uh, you still see him. He is pretty far below you, uh, but he seems to, you know, relative to you, have stopped moving. We need to jump down to get him. Well, I don't even know what we're standing on. I mean, I could undo this guy, and we would keep going down to meet up with him, and then I could redo it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I like, oh. I like, I like that idea. Well. I don't know, rocky now there, Captain. The, the last time I tried that, it only worked once. Then we tried it again, and nothing happened. That's true. Oh, oh no. So I'm I'm really I'm really concerned with undoing it and then trying to do it again, and we just nothing happens. Hey, try, 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 try. Uh, hey, why don't you yell down to him and see if he can like climb climb up to us? Yeah. Come on, swim. Can we try to swim down? We have nothing to stand on when we get down there. No, but I'm going to just assume that I can stand on whatever I want and move down. So, so what are you going to do, Hondo? I'm trying to just like literally climb down like there was a ladder next to me. Sure, yeah. As you get to the edge of this platform, you cannot feel or you feel around, but you don't feel any ladder or anything. Oh, there's um, nothing. It is it is very, very much like that other invisible pathway you were on back when you were floating above um, what you assumed was the elemental plane of fire. Uh -huh. are, are Hondo's clothes still flapping? Or are any of our clothes still like flapping in the breeze? Oh, good question. No, they are not. Very, very, you do feel a slight breeze, but no longer mm -hmm. like you are falling uh, at maximum okay. velocity there. Yeah. So are we back on like an edge or a seam or whatever the word you used is? Uh, uh, I believe the word was membrane. Like before, like in between. Membrane, yeah. Membrane. Uh, and it feels, it seems to be very, very much like that. Hmm. We're back in a memory. Well, if we've learned anything, that it's, if we keep walking, we'll either find some kind of something to find or, you know, get attacked by a giant snail. So. We lost a friend we'll, today. We'll find some I mean, he can, he can keep He can keep walking in the same direction we're in. Or we lost a friend. We're walking. Hey, can you hear us? There is no response, but I mean, he is he is very far away from you. I think we're too far away. Anyone have some special magic -y way to say something to him? I don't think I do. Oh, no. I can try and use the key to send him back home. Oh, that would, well, home, home, like his real home, not where his he home. came from. We right. could try that. That would, be, that would be nice. Hopefully there's lots of gems there for him to eat. We kind of got him into this mess. I did not have the best intentions when I was going to have us uh, work together. <laughs> All right. So what are you Do guys? It. What are you guys doing? Send him home. I'll, I'll I'll look look down to like kind of where he is and with the key and kind of pointing at him and I say, uh, send Rock home. Uh, there does not seem to be any reaction. How did you? What was this? The phrase to get them to stop? L O C K stop. rock. Why don't we let him go? <laughs> <laughs> and just let him fall into nowhere. The better question is, how does the ring not know how to spell? I mean, the the key. It might not be a not no. It might be an actual like code word. Like you actually have to say it. Oh, don't let him go. I think sometimes the best way no! is to just let the things you love go. No, not again. Is that what you want, Cap? 
Pink. Will you hate me forever if I tell ah! him who it is? Crying, just <laughs> crying. Just... There's so many tears. It's like mud all over my face. <laughs> Does it sand. look like like Zorn can move at all, or does it look like he's just frozen in place? Um, <sighs> because like if I can see that he's like trying that he can walk around in like the same way that we could possibly walk around, I would feel really bad killing him. But if he's just going to yeah. be stuck there for yeah. forever, then it really almost really seems bad. like a mercy letting him fall, well, and maybe he'll fall back home. Well, I can say at at this particular moment, because you guys haven't moved yet either, and he does right. not seem to have moved. Well, let's let's try to walk across the path and see if he, you know, we're like right the comes in the same there, but... direction, just yeah. below us, like that. Yeah, before I make the All final right. call, to just. <laughs> All right. Ah! Let's go that way and see if he goes that way with us. It's mm-hmm. not just rolling down my face. <laughs> Oh, please, ah, oh, 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 no, my God. not again! Ah! Ah! <laughs> you know what? Uh, you always yeah. do this, Captain! <laughs> ah! Uh, you know, it would be a very slow, painful death, too, because it's not like he's going to hit something <laughs> and die. It's going to be a probably starvation. <laughs> I think he's just a little sensitive from that time he killed his parrot. <laughs> Thank He'll you for that idea. He starves to death, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you guys continue start walking and continuing, uh, and as you go, you're trying to keep an eye uh, on uh, this creature. Uh, it does seem that it is moving in the same direction you are, though very slowly. Okay. So, so you will if you could move at you know, a kind of normal pace. Uh, yeah, so you're not sure if it's just unable to move even as quickly as it was, or because it's walking on nothingness, uh, you know, it's a, it, it might be a little trepidatious. Mm. Who's closest to me? Uh, I don't know. How how did you guys land? How did you fall? Well, I, I was next to wait, wait, Wave because you we were both on the pillar, like right away, but however you grabbed on... I feel like I was on like an edge of the pillar, so I'm probably behind them. Okay. So I'm closest well, we're to walking now, so. Jade? Is that what you're telling me? Oh no. Sure. <laughs> Sneakily try to do <laughs> Ah If you don't stop doing that, I'm going to push you off, and you can go with your friend. And don't we'll you keep... see what's happening here? What? I don't see what's happening here. Captain's trying to kill another one of my friends because he's jealous. What other what friends of yours did he kill? I don't know. He was going to kill you guys. Captain. Sounds wrong. <laughs> Don't you tell them about that. Um, are, are you guys going uh, at a slow enough pace so that you're kind of keeping pace with that creature? Yeah, it's only polite. Okay. Yeah, so you guys yeah. kind of are, are doing a, a leisurely stroll along as you go uh and as you do you know you it's it's almost peaceful uh you know every you know you're kind of watching uh the clouds kind of slowly moving by uh as you're going for this like nice stroll with this soft breeze the sun is still there it's warm but not quite as bearing down and hot as it was in the desert that you just left um and (laughs) As I hear, like cat crashes. <laughs> um, bingo, bingo, right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, as you look around, um, every once in a while, you do start to see what appear to be uh, like wisps of clouds, um, but m- 
you notice that they're moving uh, almost purposely, right? And though large, they appear vaguely humanoid in shape. And they're kind of moving kind of from one of these wispy clouds to the other. Uh, pretty far out in the distance, none coming terribly close to you. Gotta watch just, out. Just a shot oh. in the dark, Cap, but those might be air elementals. Uh, mm. I, I have no idea what they... I've never actually seen one before, but I have mm. no idea what they look like, but I'm also uh, on the lookout for air genies, because we've met a couple of those, too. Mm. Yep, and... uh. I bet they want us to find the middling altar in their name. Uh, I, yep. <laughs> Pretty much everyone we need except Zorn wanted us to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't tell Dar about it either. He might have. I don't know. Well, Dar's a lying sack of shit. So I don't yeah, care. I don't particularly like him. He can rot in hell for all I care. Yeah, that's right. You let him know it. Oh, I'm glad you stopped crying. I've been crying for 10 minutes. I know. It's not quiet. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, Sorry. I did not know that that much stuff could come out of your nose. Can you breathe? You say you should uh, be pretty clear now, huh? I can't breathe. Well, what's new? Uh, I don't know why I asked. If, if you can't breathe here, like, you're never going to be able to breathe anywhere, because this should be the place where you should have the easiest time breathing. Second. As I look out to all these clouds, they're ugly. None of them are particularly cool in any type of cool shape. If you guys remember when we were on the boat and those clouds, and they looked like cats... Did you see them? Do you remember that? These clouds Ooh. suck. They don't look like anything but little piles of poop. Well, okay, okay, okay. If it makes you feel better, yeah, sure, they look like little piles of poop. Oh, I'm, sad. I'm just trying to make a point. Okay, what's your clouds, point? They don't look good. Oh. Okay. You can't smell anything. The clouds are weird. I need to get out of here. Well, I'd like to go home, but I mean, you, you know, we just keep... never smell anything anywhere. Hmm, I can't. Cool. I can't. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and, ah. <laughs> uh, and as you guys the are. The monster got me. <laughs> Go in. Uh, going lazily, uh, complaining about how the clouds look, uh, you hear a roar. Oh. Um, this really um, deep guttural <laughs> that comes from out in the distance uh, and it echoes a bit and you look around trying to figure out where it comes from uh, and then rather quickly you see it um, because it bursts through one of these clouds and actually uh, before it bursts you watch um about half a dozen of those uh, what you imagine to be air elementals shoot out in every direction trying to um, avoid this creature. Uh, and uh, it bursts through this cloud, kind of dissipating it before it. Um, this very, very large creature um, over a 20-foot wingspan. Um, this huge leathery wings um, and fire shooting out before its face. As you see glistening in the sun, whose source you can't quite see, uh, appears to be a very, very large red dragon. Oh my fucking god, this is fantastic. Uh, you watch it snap left and right, uh, and catches one of those air elementals, um, after like being hit with the fire, it goes and snaps it, and you watch the thing almost <laughs> dissipate in a puff of like air and fire shooting out either side of its muzzle um, as it looks back to the sky and roars again uh, as it turns its body and like softly starts to um, uh, fall off to the side. Uh, it is flying generally 
in your direction. Not directly, uh, but you imagine uh, creatures sitting there uh, on an invisible platform. It will probably notice you are there. And that's the point we're going to pick it up next week on Thursday. Lock dragon, lock dragon, lock dragon, <laughs> lock dragon, <laughs> lock dragon. Oh, if we lock the dragon. Where will we take the dragon? Well, wait, if we lock the dragon and we kill the dragon, do we still get full experience points for killing it? You get absolutely, listen, absolutely, you will get I got full my sneaky tea ready. milestone level leveling points for killing the dragon. Or We're for level not, three, we couldn't do this when we were level ten in the other. Or game. for not killing the dragon. Well, if we stop it, if we level. lock him, it's milestone. <laughs> um, he couldn't. He couldn't move, do anything. So he be able to do anything. But but because the key is so powerful. Level. But do you know what you do get for? You know what you get for seeing the dragon. What? Congratulations, you guys are all level four. Woo! <laughs> Level four. Yes, we did it. Now we can bravely run away from the dragon. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm not dying again. <laughs> Why? You think slug a... beat us. <laughs> it was a snail. Okay, it had a shell. It's not like it was a slug with no shell. That's just silly. Uh, yeah, so you, all, you might have got killed by a slug. But here we are, my friends. Uh, we're going to pick it up here again. Uh, next Thursday, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern time, same layout. Now that it's looking pretty, really excited. We're rolling for hit points. Uh, so uh, we got wave with seven extra hit points plus con mod. Yes. How do I do this? Uh, Hondo got a five, quite respectable mid range. Right? What are, what are you even? A fighter? That's I don't even like. Know. That's just that's a little below average. Yeah. Oh, you, roll, you got the twelve. What's what? mine? Shit, I gotta find mine. Which character mancer do I do I use? Me, to the character mancer, not the level one, the second one. Okay. It's like character mancer plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, for anyone here watching live, we'd love for you to give our page a follow. Uh, you know, it lets you know when we're live. It lets you join us on chat. I know. Uh, one of the great things that I find about building this channel, uh, this Twitch channel with these all these guys, is we have a really active chat, and it's just really fun. Uh, obviously, I'm not in it quite as actively as most people that are just watching, uh, but it's 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 a lot of fun, even when I'm just glancing over to see what you guys are talking about. If you're watching this uh, later on, maybe you found us on Twitch, maybe you found us on YouTube. Uh, you saw a link somewhere. I don't know. Uh, still, uh, twitch.tv slash Productions. Thinking about giving us a follow. Uh, we'd love to have you watch and chat live with us. Uh, but if not, um, thank you for watching, you know, when you're able to, based on Damn your it. life. Is that, is that Bink right got a six on a six. Max yeah, but that's, that's not roll for HP. That's just rolling. Yeah, mean, but he just used the character mancer. I don't know how to do that. And Matt was in the middle of something, so. Yeah, I mean, that's a d he rolled the d6 and got a 6. That's. I did roll a d6. He did not just say roll 6, like, uh, you know. On right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. And Jade's still trying to figure it out. Other than that, so uh, congrats, guys, on figuring out... Um, that cipher that's been they've been working on it this week so that's pretty cool that we got that while we were live yeah that was too. pretty cool actually cat get out of okay last time you were over there you turned off my power strip i so think it rolled for me so i ended up going up to 38 it adds yeah. it adds your yeah. con when you use the character mancer so if you rolled like a six and your con is a plus two it'll give you plus eight it does it for you yeah. Oh, oh, wait, how did you do that? Yeah, it'll automatically add your con modifier. You still have to get the dice. Roll. And you probably have a good dice to use, right, With your for a paladin. What's your hit die? Ten. Yeah. Holy shit. You're beefy. No, but it did it for me. I went up eight points. Oh. Yeah. It probably gave the, used the average. Did you, hit, did you hit average instead of uh, roll? Uh, it defaults uh, to uh, average. Uh, yeah. You're going to... 
but that's okay. An average is that's good. usually an average is usually better than rolling because it the average isn't average; it's higher than average. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, I messed up. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, all right, guys. Yeah, thanks again for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, we love all the love we've been getting on this channel. Uh, you know, spread that love to one another. Um, spread the love, baby. That's it. Uh, and we'll be back again next week. Uh, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Thank you. Bye.